Hello everyone. Today I am going to share with you a design that is that will be related to firefighter. This one is a design from my group. So I see that most of the times so when you are a beginner and trying to make designs with vectors, then you make this kind of mistakes. Like you can see this one is this helmet and this X is a 3D object. This ribbons are 3D, but these are not 3D and they are not perfectly placed. So when you are using premium vectors or vectors like this 3D, then you must make sure that everything else also looks like 3D or they are placed in a good way. Otherwise, a good vector doesn't look good if the other elements are not placed in the right way and another problem for beginner is this design is good but imagine when you are putting this on a t-shirt something like on tea spring or red bubble then your design is something like this like this is the wide of your design now when you are putting this on the t-shirt this elements are being smaller as the, these will be the wide of the design so this area will be smaller but when you are making design if you make sure that everything stays in a certain area then your design will design will look much more better so that is what i wanted to share for this video so i am going to use this vector for today's design and this is the text i am going to use so for saving times i am going to share with you the designs i have already made so let's just erase them now you can see here are the three designs i am using for this one i made this i am just going to describe the workflow here now you can see when we are working on a artboard like this one is 4500 pixel by 5400 pixel so when you are starting to make a design the first thing you should do is take a rectangle make it or whatever size you are working with that exact size and this will give you a rectangle here and of course you don't need to make this much big design as because when you are working with too much elements like this and you are working your computer configuration is not very good then you will find some problems so for this one here if i just press shift and alt in my keyboard and i just make it smaller something like this then the proportion will be same like this is when i will make this bigger it will be 4500 into 5400 so i am going to make a rectangle first like this one and then my work will start that whatever i will do here I will do inside this box nothing nothing will go outside of this box and then when my design will be done if I place that on a bigger area or my canvas it will fit perfectly so for this one here maybe just first of all make a make to ruler like this so that you don't go outside of these areas now I am going to lock this layer if i take my this design here just to show you and i'm just going to okay that is behind my artboard so i'm going to cut and paste in front now they are in front now if you look at here when i make this design i make sure that everything in this box area like if i just make this something like this not that much bigger okay that is good for me now you can see everything is inside my this ruler area so i kept everything in this area because i don't want to take any of these elements to make it like this will be the wide area and this will be smaller details of my t on when it will be printed on a t-shirt so when i maintain this ratio then you can see everything stays inside my this area and when i put it these elements here 
text had everything everything i kept in this area and also you can see this one i make a bit bigger because when i am making an arc like this it will look smaller than this straight boxes so that's why i may keep this one a bit bigger but not bigger than my main rectangle here so this is the way of fitting your design inside a like if i just make it a bit more bigger something like this you can see everything is inside my rectangle area and now when we are working with this kind of vectors like this kind of 3d vectors or premium vectors then you must make everything else also looks like a premium work and if not then your design will not look will not look like a very much professional work and you will face some problems with that kind of designs now here what i did just nothing i take a same kind of rectangle here make that a stroke mode then using used my effect here arc effect to make that arc like this and everything here is just place as there you can see nothing very much fancy work here everything is in simple work but here i am going to share with you another tips that is when we are making designs like this we have to keep in mind that when we are changing the colors here or something from our design or we are making a colorful design then there could be three different versions of this same design this one is black it will obviously look good on white but this kind of shirts doesn't like this designs is not for a white shirt a firefighter is not going to wear a white shirt when he is working or something like that but of course a white version or a white shirt is always good because we can put that on something kind of lighter color lighter lemon lighter green something like this that and this will look good but when we are making it a colorful design then this mistakes here you can see when we are turning that into a one color design then it doesn't look the exact same i told this in my another video but here i am telling again that this same mistake you are doing again and again that this is a design on white this design is on black so it is looking good because this area is representing the shadow but when i am making it something like this colorful then this kind of 3d design doesn't look very much good so for that one here i did just selecting that vector here then make a offset path for this one and then pasted that in back and that's how i made that offset path in yellow color but my original image is in black it's still black so it is looking the exact same of that black version and of course if i am making everything like this in 3d 3d looking then obviously i have to use all other things in that kind of that kind of professionalism or if you just cannot do something like this then my suggestion will be that don't make vector based designs that this kind of designs are obviously it will be copyrighted if you cannot just buy them i have premium free picks so i downloaded them from there i will give you this one of course but when you are making designs with this kind of elements or 3d vectors then make sure that you your everything else your text your other elements all looks like the same kind of professional otherwise it will not be a professional looking design and if you are a beginner then avoid using this kind of 3d vectors in your design just something use something like this make a silhouette of it something like this a silhouette image and then you can use this kind of images in your design so that is will that will be easier to work because you are a beginner and you don't have this this much maybe this much knowledge or maybe this much creativity to make your design other elements look like a 3d object here or you can just you may find some problems with this, this kind of like this design here okay sorry for that this kind of designs doesn't look good when we change the colors or something like that in on color when you turn them in on color but you can easily fix that with this kind of problem so this is the main problem i get 
message about that how is my design looking and that is the thing i found that on almost every design this is the lackings that the design is not in a proportion way okay let me just show you as a final if i just really erase this i am selecting this one this is my main design so i am grouping them and i am going to align them artboard wise like center and vertical same if i now make it a bigger design something like this okay that is a bit much bigger okay that is good for me now you can see this is the full area of a t-shirt printing like a full area of a printable t-shirt so you can see i am just covered almost 95 to 96 percent of it and this there is something some area is still missing but that's not a problem you don't need to fix everything and if i just make this box this with align with this one then it will look much more bigger so i need to keep in mind that everything should look kind of similar and my this vector is also looking same kind of bigger with this text just i showed that image before not that kind of just looking everything is in proportion and everything is in a printable area so this is today's video all about i will give you these vectors here of course not that one that five firefighter helmet and this x here and this text here i hope you will make something good or maybe better than this and post that in our group and of course this vector will be on our group link so guys that's for all for today i hope you enjoyed this one see you in the next video have a great time thank you